everybody. This is Andrew, also known as Nature Man. It is April 17th, 2023. We're back to some cold weather. You can believe it, we had some snow this morning. Uh, nothing accumulated, of course, but uh, it's uh, quite surprising given the fact we had four straight days of 80 degree Fahrenheit plus and sunny. Very warm. Trees all started to leaf out and, oh, now it's cold. It's only like a high of 37 degrees Fahrenheit this afternoon and a uh, there's a frost advisory tonight. I think a low of about 31, 32, uh, right around the freezing mark. I just want to show you some of the native spring ephemerals that are popping up in the woods. Some of the native spring ephemerals. Here, here we are. All right, we got the beautiful prairie trillium. Look at that. These are the prairie trillium right here. We got some uh, tr native trout lily. The trout lilies, I think, bloomed last week, uh, but the. Um, Prairie Trillium here, uh, should be coming into bloom over here. Bear with me, I just walked by it a second ago. Don't wanna step on too many of these plants as I'm hiking. Look at that, beautiful red flower right there. On the Prairie Trillium, a native spring ephemeral. As soon as the summer kicks into gears, we get into May, it'll completely die back to the ground. They emerge in late winter, bloom in mid spring and die back to the ground. <laughs> there they are in full bloom. There's all the trout lily. They actually, like I said, they just bloomed last week. You see, these are the seed pods of what they flowered. I actually walked, kind of walked back here last week and they were in bloom. So then we have May apple, another forest native ephemeral. Now, what I like about May apples is that they'll actually hold into like midsummer before they kind of die back to the ground. Unlike some other spring ephemerals, die back in, in the spring. By, by the time any time of heat kicks in, they die back. Well, the May apples will hold mid to late summer before dying back to the ground, which is kind of interesting. But they flower usually late spring, so they're gonna flower here probably in the next couple weeks. Look at all these May apples. They stand out like a sore thumb in the forest. Just giant leaves. And then they'll actually flower underneath their foliage. There's just an entire carpet of May apple. It's so striking. They look like something from an alien world, like little, giant leaves on a stem just coating the forest floor and you get beautiful little scented flowers here the next couple of weeks springtime in the forest and of course we got the invasive honeysuckle these are all invasive all this uh, stuff are invasive honeysuckle i uh, hate that hate that stuff but we still have a uh, native sugar maple acer sacrum have started to leaf out given the warmth we had last week yeah, this is Nature Man signing off. Bye.